Is that Captain Kirk? Yep. You're sucking on Captain Kirk. He's an attractive dude. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions unit. It's up, Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for those Patreon. Follow the Twitter account where you vote on the location squad. Bang! Follow us on our personal YouTube channels. Links right down there. And there's something on the wing. Something. That's that's. I'm a. That's William. I'm a doctor, Jim, not a reactor. Yeah, that's uh, that's William Shatner in uh, the uh, the Twilight Zone episode, but he doesn't actually say it. But yes. Um, anyways, today stuff is his music. Uh, today we are doing a movie review of the new film, uh, Rata Akeli Hai, uh, which is uh, Nawazuddin and Siddiqui's uh, new film. So you know we were going to watch that, uh, directed by Honey Trihan. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, uh, he, we've seen him. He's actually a big casting director, but we've seen him work with Vishal quite a bit as well. Yes. Um, but it also starring. Uh, say her name for me, Rick. I can't. It's a beautiful name. Though. I would. I would love to. Um, wait. You mean you're referring to? Well, uh, there's, there's a couple. Uh, so. Well, the co-star is Radhika Apte. Yes. We've yes. Se- we've seen her quite a few times in Sacred Gams. Yes, we know. We've, we've seen her in a in a bunch of stuff. Yes, uh, and we know it's sacred games. We just say it like that, you you imbeciles. Uh, yeah, uh, and a whole bunch of other people. But uh, we're gonna do a tiny little spoiler uh, free, just because it's new. I mean, it'll probably be like a sentence or two. Just we don't we don't like to do it. Um, but uh, just since it's new, uh, but it's on Netflix, so it's free. So what's you know what's really stopping you, um, but uh, the but we film, won't we won't ruin it for you. The film follows a small town cop who summoned to investigate the death of a politician, uh, which gives complicated which gets complicated by the victim's uh, secretive family and his own conflicted heart. Oh, sorry, I thought it was uh, I, I I saw the casting uh, the producer. I thought it was Abhishek, our friend, but it's a, a different Abhishek. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah. so, uh, yes, uh, on Netflix, uh, two hours 30. Uh, so, uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Rick, uh, your initial non-spoiler thoughts. My non-spoiler semi-paragraph is an entertaining whodunit murder mystery you'd like to watch during a thunderstorm with expectedly strong performances from Nawazad and Siddiqui and Radhika Apte, a solid supporting cast, very nice score, but could have benefited from a shorter runtime. Yeah, I agree. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you, I, I would, I would recommend watching it regardless. Uh, so yeah, it's fun. It's fun. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Uh, it's on Netflix I mean, once again. It's free. It's Nawaz. It's uh, Rod and Deep. It's, no, uh, it's it, it, Nawaz and, and Radika, man. I mean, just go watch them be brilliant. Yeah, that's all they ever do. Anyways, uh, so that was our non-spoiler, just because that's what, uh, we don't like to do a lot of that, and so we'd like to get into the nitty-gritty. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it, come back if you'd like to see Yeah, because you're going to get spoiled now. We're going to dig spoiled, in spoiled, you naughty little boys and girls. Uh, so yeah, I, I totally, totally agree. I actually, I, I really enjoyed the film. Um, I thought it was really captivating. The only really thing I could flaw it for is if me personally, for a whodunit thriller, I think we've said this before, I think it just needs to be tight. For a whodunit thriller mm-hmm. to be great, uh, mm-hmm. it just needs to be tight because it keeps up the suspense, you know, of uh, of, of who it is. Um, and it didn't it didn't drag on like too long. It wasn't like oh this is right. this is this is dreadful. It's just I mean it's no, Mossad and Siddiqui on screen, so it was it's a, exactly. of course enjoyable. But that's really the only flaw I could have really found in it. Uh, I thought it was a really entertaining, really well done flick. Nawazad and Siddiqui, he got the girl. Rick, let's give an applause for Nawazuddin Siddiqui. I, know. Getting the <laughs> it, it was, I was thinking about while we're watching it. I wonder if he uh, knew. I was thinking. I was thinking he probably had just wrapped that yeah. when yep. we sat down and talked with him, mm-hmm. and 
that that was possibly what he was referring to because he did he he gets the girl he's the hero in this he's the hero he actually played a very irfan esque role i feel like irfan would have played this role uh if he was offered it and was healthy at the time sure yeah uh, absolutely. obviously he would play it differently than nawaz played it but i just sure. feel like this he he stepped into more of the good guy with um a bit of an edge which which was he actually had quite a bit of a little arc his, his mom was obviously the humor in this film um which i think originally the 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 take we got from the trailer was it's going to be kind of knives out ish but obviously mm-hmm. knives out has a lot more comedy than this has. right this is more of and a, a tighter sh- tighter clip this is uh strictly a more a whodunit thriller um uh, not too much comedy around it yeah but um i thought nawaz playing the good guy it was wonderful to see (laughs) yeah i agree because you kept you kept obviously you're used to him and you could see it at certain points because he obviously has that bit of danger behind his eyes right always he he has that danger like that's why he's so good in the villain roles because he he doesn't have to do anything to just you you to think like something's gonna happen and he could Mm -hmm. just pop off at any moment so he still has that behind his character but it was much more sometimes innocent um but obviously a very stubborn guy who just wants to get the truth out of this investigation and yes. he, he ended up falling because i think at the beginning he wanted a girl who was res- like wholesome or i think i forget what he exact said to his mom he's like i want a girl that's wholesome and like de- like decent or something like that and then he ended up yeah. a, a, with a woman who he kept calling a whore uh right uh, right <laughs> through the whole thing and- and I really liked the subtle, not so subtle um, message because we know from his book and we know from talking to him and we know from talking from others in the industry there that the transformation that's taking place about what a hero should look like, yeah. specifically dark skinned men not being able to play them, small dark skinned men because he's small of stature. And I loved the subtle, not so subtle. Uh, the product wasn't uh, fair and lovely, but it it was. Yeah. You know, and how at the end he puts it in the trash, and he, it's like, you know what? I don't need this to get the girl, and neither do our heroes in Indian cinema. Yeah. Yeah, I loved that. Yeah, I thought that was fantastic. Uh, yep. So it was obviously lovely to watch Nawaz, and of course he was going to be brilliant. You know he. It's probably one of my favorite actors ever. Of course, he's he's just incredible. Um, yeah. But obviously, can we talk about Radika? Yes, I want to do that right now. <laughs> uh, yes. Radika, who I think, unless I'm wrong, I think she's supremely underrated in Indian cinema, and I know she's yeah. respected, obviously, because everything she does is amazing. But she's not at the. She doesn't have the name recognition um, that like Dapika, Priyanka, uh, all those huge stars do. Preach, but, brother. Preach, but she, brother. But she should. <laughs> Preach. Because she's one uh, of the have, most talented actresses we've seen out of India. I I remember, I think our first exposure to her was in Andahan. Yes. And I remember thinking, wow, this girl's good. Yeah. And she's never failed to be anything but fantastic in this there were moments in this I got I got frustrated I got angry because in my mind I'm thinking okay she's she's a working actor yeah yeah she's fantastic and respected but if she doesn't become a household name and eventually in the echelons of taboo and many times in this we've already mentioned his name her screen presence and her ease and her captivating nature with her look yeah. was oozing Irfan Khan. Yeah, 100%. Just oozing. She's that level. I think she could, I think given enough work and given enough exposure, the sky's the limit for her as far as being one of the best actresses India's ever seen. Oh, 100%. She's everything we've ever seen her in she one she, she has an, such an interesting beautiful look about her she's yeah she's not, love her she's not a, a normal looking uh woman uh, i would say that in the nicest way possible uh, <laughs> uh because no, she just yeah, so, I, she's I so uniquely look at she's so unique looking 
Um, and but obviously her talent. Obviously, we saw her in Andahanan, but we also saw her in Sakura Gams, where and that she, short film we yeah. saw. Yeah, uh, and I th- think there's one more, but I could be wrong. But everything we've seen her, and she's just been powerful and uh, really, really incredible. Uh, Agreed. And she, the screen presence she has, she she's perfect to go opposite Nawaz. Yeah, didn't you love watching them together? Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it was great uh, watching them, but also. I thought the entire cast in this was really, really good. I thought the uh, the um, what's her name the um, the mom I believe her name is right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought she did yep. really she did really really well as well uh, as the young girl who who died. I thought did really yes. well. Uh, that that yeah. got killed. Yes, uh, the girl did. I felt um, there was one point I remember I almost wrote it down, but I knew I would remember it. Um, it was when, toward the climax scene, when the daughter stands up and screams and throws her drink on the ground and is crying when the mother comes over. Yeah. And, uh, the tears are coming. And I, I, I uniformly felt that there was an emotional availability from everybody in the cast. Everybody. That this yeah. was, this could, been, this could have been a play. The level of camaraderie. Oh, right? Yeah. And, uh. I, I want to give a special shout out as well to whatever stunt person did the burn fall. Oh yeah, it was so good. When that whole moment was great, that, <laughs> that was great. But that burn fall, a total full consumption burn, with a, fa- a fall not just downstairs but from a balcony to a stair, down a stair, and then a run. That was lovely stunt work. Yeah, beautiful stunt yeah. work, but a, also a fantastic moment. And because yeah. I. At that at that moment, I thought that the uh, Nawaz's partner was gonna die. I thought that was guy was gonna come out and, and kill him mm-hmm. uh, just out, yeah. out of a corner or something. I thought so. I thought he was gonna die, but then he was going through stuff, and then somebody just started pouring stuff stuff on him. And I actually thought it was that stuff that he poured on the people in the uh, beginning, the right? Yeah. Um, but then obviously he wasn't reacting to it, so I'm like, uh oh. And then you just heard the match. <laughs> And then you saw yep. it was her face, and I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> throw and it." I also, I also enjoyed, you know, for a murder mystery, uh, I I couldn't predict how it ended. I thought I could. I thought I knew who the guilty person was, but I loved that it was a believable premise. I liked how they revealed it with the retelling of it in flashback. Yeah, and and it, it was interesting. And making it uh, the making sure um, the director made it so that um, it made, didn't make the audience feel dumb. Like, you right. know this is a flashback at this moment. Sometimes they yes. can do it, sometimes they can't. Uh, this time, yes. he, I thought he did a really good job um, of doing that. And what was it going to... Oh, yeah. Uh, the end, I actually liked the, the whole message of... Uh, and it happens so much in Indian series that we've seen, because it's a through line. The abuse towards women in this yes. series so yes. and we know it's it's a big problem uh through, throughout parts of india uh of just the way women are treated uh in general um not obviously we're not saying everybody i'm not because i know i'm gonna get yelled at for saying this but it happens and it's a it's a it's a big issue uh which is mm-hmm. why it's depicted so much but the fact that this was uh, uh this man raped a minor and then she killed him which was yeah, and, and apparently as well was involved in sex trafficking in sex addition trafficking. to what he did to her. Yeah, yeah. So the yeah. whole the whole message behind it of, um, of of that and obviously getting that talked about more because obviously it's an mm-hmm. issue that needs to be resolved <laughs> and needs to be resolved well, yeah. swiftly. I, I thought it was good that they they um, showed Nawazuddin's character letting her know when he found out that she was actually the guilty person. Mm-hmm. That he immediately assured her, "You're going to be okay. I know the story. We're going to make sure that this is done up as a self-defense, and you're not going to go to prison for this because you've been abused." And I, if there's even one young lady who could see this and and potentially feel a sense of relief that, wow, maybe maybe if I do say something, I, I'll justice will be served. Yeah. Sadly, there's too many stories of abuse happening and a, a, a daughter tells a dad like a daughter telling a dad that you know my my uncle molested me and the, the dad immediately takes the uncle's side so there's a, there's a lot of scenarios where you go to the police and we've seen it in some of the films where they go to the police and the police say 
well, maybe it, it was in pink the first time we ever saw it. The Well, maybe that happened, maybe it didn't. You know, it's your words against his, and he's of a better standing family than you. So yeah, and it's no, tough. It's, it's, and it's obviously not just an Indian issue. We're, no. It's, it's no, a world no. issue. <laughs> it's a world issue. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I thought that was great. And I thought the director, uh, Honey, um, say, uh, say the last name. Treva. Treva. Treva, right? Treva, right? Yes. Uh, who... Well, he was a casting director on Susharia, the one with Sushant. He was a mm. casting director on Tumbad. Uh, did I wonder? I think this was his directorial debut. Cinematically, yes. Or at all? Whoa! Uh, well, then, ha- then, hats off. Very, very solid debut. Yeah, he's been a casting, a huge casting director for a long time. Uh, this is his first time taking the helm. Uta Punjab, Delhi Belly, uh, he's, he's, uh, The Holiday, uh, Detective Bumkeshi, uh, T- Talvar. So he's been a casting director for an awful long time. But yeah, the only director credit is this one. Well, then Holy a, little bit more needs, a little bit more needs to be said, because if it had been an experienced director, my thought would have been solid turnout. Nothing to really rave about, but I'm very satisfied with your with your finished product for a first outing yeah that's impressive very very well done <laughs> very impressive because uh, you look like an experienced director yeah it did a hundred percent the fact that yeah. the, the way it was all constructed to get i'm wondering if he wrote it as well if he was part of the writing team very nice uh, very nice no he okay no. yeah my only critique my my only critique and it's just for my and it didn't even annoy me it was just a thought i was like you know what you might get some accessibility and maybe not potentially cause some people to get a little bit slow if the if the runtime had been clipped to more like a two hour runtime than two thirty five. Two thirty five. Yeah, that's what I would yeah. have done, and that's the only that's critique. All. And but that's also because it's a a, um, a whodunit thriller. Just because right, you, it's you better need, to have a quick clip. You need that. You need that suspense, and it, that the suspense uh, obviously, if it's slow at points, it dissipates at certain Correct. points and most of the time it wasn't and i obviously it helps when you have cast who can carry the film and make you interested regardless yeah i said <laughs> i said that to indrani when she asked me what if i was enjoying it and i said well and i said all the things about the film that i liked and i said but the bottom line is this you could watch radika and nawazid and Siddiqui just sitting on the toilet they're so freaking interesting yeah and so natural yeah. That just, just watch them breathe. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. It was one. It was wonderful to watch. It felt like we hadn't seen Nawaz in a while, so that was. It yeah, was, it was I agree. nice. It was nice to and see him, and then of course see her again. Uh, yeah, so I, I, wanna, I am rooting for her. Uh, so obviously, let us know what's next Nawaz and Siddiqui film we need to watch because we'll watch them all by the end of. I want to watch everything. She, I'm telling you, but her, I believe she has the capacity. To reach the levels and the respect of an Irfan Khan, a hundred percent. Yeah. But let us know of hers. What is her best work that we have yet to see? Um, I know she's on Netflix all the time. She does tons of Netflix stuff. Um, but uh, let us know what is her best because we'd love to explore her more uh, and get her the acclaim she deserves. But let us know what you thought of the film down below, and uh, let us know what we should watch next. <laughs>